Disclaimer, this channel's content is not intended for the ages under 13, and if you are a YouTube employee or YouTube bot thinking about labeling my channel's content as for kids, kindly fuck off. Thank you. Hello random viewer, my name is John Green, and I'm a self-taught amateur stop motion animator. Try saying that three times fast. I started this channel six months ago to focus on two of my passions, my love for toys and to make stop motion videos with said toys. And I have been doing fairly well since then. Granted my sub count is small, but such is a humble beginning. This video is not just for my 22 subscribers, mwah, thank you, but for any aspiring stop motion animator like me, new and eager to make stop motion videos. This is my way of showing thanks to my subscribers for being a part of my creative journey so far. Not like most YouTubers, I aim to make content creating my source of income, mainly because I love doing it. But until that day comes, I'll just have to earn my way up like everyone else. With that said, let's begin. I bought these key materials at Amazon. Now I am just guessing the exact price here, but including the shipping costs, you are looking at a price between $30 to even $50. But I can say 100% it is worth it. And I will show and tell you why. First you need a Nyko adjustable helping hand with magnifying glass and dual alligator clips, a single MIR iron weight, and lastly contact cement. Contact cement for any 13 year old babies watching is basically god tier super glue. If you are planning to do this please have some form of parental supervision. The last thing you want happening is an accident that could ruin you for life or kill you. Anyway, after waiting for 5-7 to seven days once your order comes in, you are ready to assemble your stop motion rig. First off, you want to take apart the helping hands adjustable arms. Try to not lose anything, most of these parts will act as spares. You can throw the magnifying glass to the side or save it for something useful to you in the future. Once the rig is in parts, you now want to put it together like so. Best thing about this, you have no need for any tools so the risk of self-harm is greatly decreased. Once you got your rig arm built, feel free to test the sturdiness of the arms. In some positions it will topple over, but that is because we did not glue on the iron weight yet. So depending on the brand of contact cement you purchased, you just want to clean both surfaces of what you are gluing before applying the cement. I am using the Weldwood Original Contact Cement, which I bought at my local Ace Hardware store. Once the surfaces are clean, we can begin putting on the cement. For most contact cements, they recommend that you apply it in a well-ventilated area. This just means a place where the hazardous fumes will not build up and vent into the outside. So you can just do this in your garage, near a cracked window, or just outside. From there, flip the base of the helping hands upside down, applying the cement like so. You don't need to add a whole lot, just enough to coat the bottom. Now just take the iron weight, have the flat side facing up, and place the helping hands on top. Again, depending on the brand of contact cement you bought, you may or may not need a clamp or apply pressure. After that, put it somewhere safe away from everyone and animals, and wait till the next day. I'm aware on some cements they claim the drying time only takes 30 minutes to an hour, but they're all full of shit, just wait till the next day. And once tomorrow comes, your stop motion rig is complete. Now a little tip once you start operating your rig, please do not tighten the joints all the way. In doing so, you could accidentally bend or even break the plates keeping it together. Adjust to your liking, just be very careful. Also, this rig is made to only handle small accessories, 1 and 12 scale, and smaller figures. I have yet to try and take a 24 inch figure and have it in mid air with this rig. Now for those watching who have no idea what a rig is for, let me tell you. This is one of the many key tools to stop motion animation. It's basically a fancier figure stand with more practical applications other than just serving as a support for static objects. Many examples include shooting scenes where objects or characters are airborne. But here's a good start to using your newly made stop motion rig. Walk cycles. During my time practicing stop motion animation, even before I bought the Dragon Frame software, I would always practice with movement cycles. I started out with the coin cycle, then the clay ball cycle, and lastly the walk cycle. In the walk cycle, it tests your collective knowledge on basic stop motion animation, from shooting the scene to editing. 
Here's another tip for you. The rig acts as a support arm for the frames where your subject's walk cycle is in a pose where it cannot stand by itself. Not only does it make it much easier for you to focus on the next frame, it will make the process much faster. And the end result will leave you with a clean animation cycle. Well, there you have it. My gift to you guys and any new stop motion animators watching. This six month run has been very rewarding so far. I am very thankful for the support here and on my social media. Now despite the change coming to YouTube by the start of next year, I'm still going to make videos. Despite not making money off it yet, I still want to make figure reviews, stop motion videos, and anything toy and stop motion related. Yes, the whole Copa situation sucks major balls, but I'm not that worried anymore. Seeing how one of my favorite content creators are still uploading videos, it's a sign to me that maybe the whole Copa issue will not be as bad. But I'm just talking out of my ass. I don't really know what's going to happen. But whatever does happen, no, I will be making videos still. And it's thanks to your guys' support that it is keeping me going. Thank you all so much. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Here is to 2020.